I'm Kevin Roberts, the author of Cyber Junkie, as well as Movers, Dreamers, and Risk Takers. I'm an expert in addiction. Today we're going to be discussing the uh, behaviors surrounding exercise addiction. Now, there's no exercise addiction in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders called the DSM. But many people exercise in an excessive, obsessive, and even compulsive way in ways that actually harm their physical and mental well-being. Many researchers have noticed a correlation between eating disorders and excessive exercise. It is important for the sake of your physical and psychological health to consider whether or not you're exercising in a good way for your long-term health. So to begin this process, there are 10 signs to watch out for. Number one, do you exercise so much that you're doing damage to your body? Number two, are you dependent on the high or euphoria that you get from exercise? And along with that, do you find that uh, that high is what motivates you to do more exercise? Number three, if you do not exercise on a given day, do you feel depressed or maybe that your life is out of balance? Number four, when you do not exercise or miss a workout, are there withdrawal symptoms such as anxiety, restlessness, guilt, tension, discomfort, loss of appetite, sleeplessness, or even headaches? Number five, do you ignore medical conditions and physical limitations when you exercise? For example, do you continue jogging even though you're having trouble with your knees? Do you continue lifting weights even after you've pulled a muscle? Number six, have you significantly cut back on other activities in your life that you used to enjoy because now you're exercising so much? Number seven, do you exercise and spend, instead of spending time with friends and family? Number eight, do you only feel truly happy when you are exercising or perhaps in the hour or so after exercise? Number nine, do you work out even when you're sick? Number 10, have people close to you told you that you exercise too much? If you answer yes to three or more of these questions, it's probably time to seek professional help. Because if you don't, you very well could be doing long-term damage to both your body and your mind. Thank you for watching. I'm Kevin Roberts.